Justin Trudeau's Fiscal Follies. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. We knew this day was coming. Justin Trudeau's fiscal mess gets bigger. How much bigger? Well, the headline number you're mostly going to see will claim the deficit for this year is actually going to be lower, just $25.1 billion instead of $29.4 billion. But that's only one of several lies that Trudeau and his liberals will tell you. They're claiming the deficit is smaller because they've removed the $6 billion contingency fund from the budget. They've spent the rainy day fund. Now they're spending that, well, without doing it, the budget deficit would be over $31 billion. So really, spending is much higher than thought. The growth of the economy and therefore the growth of government revenues slower. And the deficits, they're going to last longer as well. Not just three years as promised, but through until at least fiscal year 2021-22. There's no plan in this fiscal update to return the books to balance. Of course, this was all wholly predictable, and some did predict it, like Stephen Harper last year, when he mocked Trudeau's promise, three small deficits, 10 billion a year, for three years. Justin is now changing his tune. He now says today he will run a deficit, a modest deficit. I guess it turns out the budget doesn't balance itself <laughs> after all. But he'll about run a, he says, a modest deficit, a tiny deficit. So small you can hardly see the deficit. That's what he says. A modest deficit, and only for three years. Only for, oh, three deficits. Three, three modest little deficits. And of course, by the time his first budget came out, they were predicting 29 billion. Now we're looking at what? 31 billion, again, all wholly predictable when you look at Trudeau's understanding of economics. Would it worry you to go into deficit in this current climate to, as you say, put more people to work? The, the commitment needs to be uh, a commitment to grow the economy and the budget will balance itself. Now, while that is Trudeau's most famous economic pronouncement, he has others that also show how little he really understands. We're proposing a strong and real plan, one that invests in the middle class so that we can grow the economy, not from the top down the way Mr. Harper wants to, uh, but from the heart outwards. That's what can Canada has always done well with. So now we're facing a projected budget deficit of over $31 billion. We are looking at deficits that could go on for years to come. All of this could get bigger and worse. TD and Scotiabank predicting bigger deficits before we even heard these numbers. But if they do get bigger, if they do last longer, will Trudeau and company change course? Probably not, because when he unveiled his budget last March, Bill Morneau was asked, hey, if what's happening now actually comes true, will you change? If the big stimulus doesn't work, would you change course? His answer back then, his answer today, no. If it's not kicking in, will you put the brakes on? Our goal is to, is to focus on where we're at each year as we put forth the budget. This year we recognize that the growth situation puts us in a position where investments is, are the right thing to do because Canadians told us to do it and because we know the economy affords us the opportunity to make the right investments. These guys are wedded to the ideology of spend, 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 the philosophy that government spending will grow the economy. It's why we're having two new government agencies created for government or economic growth. It's the same philosophy that gu guided Justin Trudeau's father, and he had one balanced budget during his 16 years in office. Now, I warned about this during the last election. Others did as well. But voters wanted change, and change is all that they're going to have left change, the kind that you have to go digging through the couch for, because the government is going to take the rest of your money. Hey, if you like what you just saw, if you like Truth and News, then make sure you don't miss another Rebel video. Hit subscribe right here or head on over to therebel.media. Become a member where you can access premium-only content.